Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Dakota, Dakota Woods Outfitter. It's a rainy day. I'm getting a bunch of these videos done because, again, the, the goal is one video a day till the end of the year minimum, okay? And because September has already started, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys an opportunity at a quick ticket for the gather thing. Guys, if you don't know what the gather thing is, it is a huge gathering with a plethora of things for kids to do, for you to do, free classes once you're in there. Any class you want to take, go take it. It's They're free there. You just have to pay for entry, and that largely pays for the awesome food you'll be provided. I brought this as well as my Packers Pantry and never opened anything. In fact, I didn't have space in my stomach to eat anything other than what was available for free. Pretty much, if you consider like day two, the amount of awesome food this guy was putting on the table. Cowboy, if you're watching, <laughs> you help me pack on a few more pounds for winter, brother. Um, if you guys don't already know, Cowboy is the cook at the event, and he was a freaking hoot, man. He was awesome to be around, generally great guy, and a really good cook. Kept, him, kept everybody nice and full, kept everybody's bully, bellies warm. Um, so that to be said, what is today's, well, what is the September challenge? It's also a challenge for me. Obviously, I'm not participating because I'll be there next year. But flint and steel, okay? This is something that I am working on myself. I'm not very good at flint and steel. And so I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and make this challenge what it is, a challenge. Not only are we going for time, but how small of a flint and steel can you go to still produce a fire, okay? Hear me out, it gets better. You're not allowed to use char cloth. I'm going to say that again, you're not allowed to use char cloth, okay? Flint and steel, smallest flint you can go, smallest steel you can go. Be safe, we all know this stuff can cut you. Understand your limits, okay? This stuff is razor sharp, literally. Um... So please understand your limits, and remember, I need photo evidence and video evidence. If you guys don't know where to post these, the Dakota of the Woods Outfitter at gmail.com is our outfitter G email. That is strictly business. If it has anything other than business to do, I will never answer it. Okay, it's just a, it, is a, it is a business email. So go check that out. Go post that to the email with evidence of the time it took you and a possible video if you can. Remember guys, we're working off an honor code here. We don't really, um, I don't expect any you guys to lie your way into this because it doesn't benefit you for two reasons. One, 90% of what we're going to be doing is actually a challenge at the gather thing. And if you're my champion winner that gets a free ticket, I'm gonna throw you on the spot when you get there. So be prepared for that, don't lie because we will call you out on it. Now, that to be said, smallest flint that you can safely use, smallest steel that you can safely use, and you're not allowed to use char cloth. You have to use any other material other than charred cloth, okay? So if you want to use punk wood, if you want to use a piece of bark, if you want to use a blah, 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 cotton ball, whatever it is you want to char, char it, but it cannot be char cloth specifically. That, my little camera cut off. Remember, guys, this week we will be giving away one awesome product, okay? So this week or this month's um, little gathering challenge is going to give you a call lanyard. If you guys don't know what a call lanyard is, it's one of these guys right here. It's handcrafted by Lost Way Survival. If you guys don't like this color when you win it, bring it with you. I'll trade it out for you at the event. Um, he has other colors available, but we're going to be offering ours in black and green, or excuse me, green and orange, as well as black and gray, black and green, excuse me. This is a custom call that I per that I was gifted by him, and then we talked about making these for the outfitter because we need them. Okay, you can hold four calls on here. Why does that matter to you? Well, you've got your, uh, if you will... You've got your calls for the deer, you've got your calls for the squirrel, and you've got your calls for every other animal you could ever think of. Hear me out. I know some people are like, why, would I, why wouldn't I make that myself? I tried to tie one of these. It took me about four hours, and my fingers were on fire. And realistically, it was not as well tight. It was not as well done. 
And um, he uses Atwood Cordage, which is uh, American-made cordage by a firefighter. Um, so understand that this guy is not just some Joe Schmo. If it matters to you, he also serves our communities and keeps us safe while he's do when he's not doing these. Now, another thing that I like about these particular lanyards is that uh, he has these little clips, these swivel clips on here that allow you to use these separately. You can clip this off and put this on yourself if you want to leave the rest of this at home. I personally will be using mine all over the place, but when deer season ends or if I'm just coyote hunting or whatever it is, I'll just drop these two off and bring my coyote calls and stuff like that. Yes, they exist. We'll talk about them later. But this is the literal event. Now, the one that you'll be getting will be orange and green. I'm going to say that again. Leave it right here. Orange and green. That is the color that we're giving away. And uh, trust me, this thing's going to fit around anybody's head. I have a uh, eight and a half head, in case anybody's wondering. And it's given me that much room to spare. Um, so if it can't fit around your head, man, we can tie it any bigger than you need it to. Again, he'll be at the... Uh, gather thing next year so if it needs to be adjusted for you we can make that happen again guys if you hadn't heard already this is the prize as well as a free ticket which i again will give you if you win make sure that by the 30th of the month you have your stuff posted to the outfitters email and if you can't get a hold of me on the email then contact us on any youtube video and be like hey brother i'm trying to get a hold of you and i'll give you the outfitters email and which you can either go to the Outfitter page and receive the Outfitter's number, call me during business hours, or just get it yourself off the website. So, Hope to see you guys there. Whoever's going to attend this, whoever's going to try this out, I encourage you to do your best. And remember, if you post a video on the 20th and somebody says, gets in a comment and says, Hey guys, September video, I am at 2 minutes and 5 seconds. And you know you're at 2 minutes and 6 do another one. Get out there and train again. It's going to give you nothing more than training, and if you keep up the hard work, you'll beat out the other guys, and you'll get a free ticket and some awesome prizes. So guys, I hope to see you in the next one.